Hello, my friend. Hello. 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 Hi, my friend. I heard, I heard that you were feeling a little bit, 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 a little bit anxious, a little bit anxious. And that's okay. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. And it will pass. 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 In the meantime, I thought that I could stick with you and help you out a little bit a little bit a little bit i brought some things that i thought you might like i brought a candle it smells really fresh here right so i'm gonna light this i'm gonna light this oh look they match. Isn't that cutie? Isn't that cute? They match. Okay. Okay. Look how pretty. Looks really pretty. Looks really pretty. Don't worry, I'll be safe. I'll be safe. I'm gonna set it down next to you. I also brought some homemade tea. Mm, it's anti-anxiety tea. Or, as I like to call it, anti-anxiety. 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 This one's for me, and I got one for you as well. Here you go. Here you go, my friend. There you go. I'll set it down next to your candle for you. And I'll grab mine. So I figured we could, we could, we could. We could share some tea and have a little time to just chill out. Just chill out together. Just chill out together. I know, I know that it can be really hard sometimes when you feel anxious and it feels, it feels like it's just gonna last forever. It's just gonna last forever. But I promise you, I promise you, I promise that that's not the case. That's just not the case. That's not the case. That's not the case. It's not the case. It's not gonna last forever. You're not gonna be feeling this way forever. You may not even be feeling this way for very long. But while you are, I'm here with you. And you can take a sip of your tea and little by little, 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 Little by little, little by little, you will start to feel better. It's hard sometimes. Sometimes it feels like, sometimes it can feel like your anxiety, your anxiety, your anxiety comes out of nowhere. And it takes you by surprise. But here's a little secret. Here's a little secret. I'm gonna put my tea down. Here's a little secret. Here's a little secret. Your anxiety, your anxiety is not random. Your anxiety is not random. It is not random. It's not random. Your anxiety is a reaction. Your 
anxiety is a reaction. Your anxiety is a reaction. It's your body's way of setting off an alarm system, of setting off an alarm system, letting you know that it perceives some sort of threat. Perceive, perceive being the key word. Perceive being the key word. It is a perceived threat. Is it? It isn't always. 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 A reaction to real threat but sometimes if we were surrounded by real threats especially in our younger years when we didn't have a lot of autonomy a lot of autonomy a lot of autonomy we didn't have a lot of autonomy and when we were a lot more malleable as people so that could be anywhere between the ages of 0 and 21, 22-ish, where your brain is still developing. If we perceived, or if we were surrounded by a lot of threats, by a lot of threats, by a lot of threatening situations, painful, scary situations, uh, situations in which we did not, we did not, we did not feel safe, our alarm systems are going to go off even when there isn't a real threat because it could perceive a threat either via a flashback of some sort or some sort of reminder, some sort of trigger, 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 some sort of trigger. Um, and that could be anything from smelling a smell that was very prominent in a house that you lived in where the environment wasn't very good, wasn't very good, wasn't very good. It could be someone joking around with you and calling you stupid as a joke, just as friends and meaning no harm, but it could remind you of a time where people called you stupid and meant it, and that could cause anxiety. Or you could be watching a show, just watching some TV, some TV. And someone says something that reminds you of a time where you weren't safe. And even if that show is funny and it was a joke or it was harmless, it could make those alarm bells go off. And then there's that anxiety. That's, there's that anxiety crawling in, just creeping in, just creeping. That's pretty rough. And sometimes we can't tell, we can't tell, we can't tell what it is that brought that anxiety to us. We don't know what brought that anxiety to us. So it feels really scary and it feels like it came out of nowhere. You were just having a good day and then panic. And it could be that your heart starts racing and your palms are clammy and your vision is fuzzy and you're exhausted and now you need to sit down and you don't know why but i promise you it's not random i promise you that it's not random and what's really beautiful about this world what's really beautiful about this world that we live in oh, what's really beautiful what's really really beautiful about this world that we live in is that there are people who study who study who study who study these things with the sole purpose of helping other people, of helping others understand, 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 understand these things so that, so that they don't plague you the way that your anxiety may be plaguing you now, so that you can learn to know what it is that triggered you, so that when you feel this sudden panic, you know how to care for it. So you know what actions to take in order to soothe yourself. And I think that's really, really wonderful. I think that's really wonderful that people help other people with things like this. With things like this, with things like this, with things like this. I think that's really beautiful. And there are just people 
who are here for you, even if they didn't study anything, even if they didn't study the brain, even if they didn't study anxiety. There are friends, whether in real life or online, that you can count on. Whether you talk directly to them or you watch them online, there are people who like to help other people calm down and feel better simply because they want to help. Simply because they want to help. And I'm here. I'm here for you. I've brought some more things. I brought a big old cup of water because you have to stay hydrated. And staying hydrated actually, actually helps your anxiety. I'll have some water myself. <sighs> I also brought you, I also brought you some squishmallows. nice to give something a hug, something or someone, when you're anxious. It can be very helpful. I've got that one, which is a unicorn cat. He's got little kitty ears, little kitty ears. And he's got happy eyes, little whiskers, and a cutie little nose, a mouth, and of course, a horn. And I have another one that's a unicorn cow. got little cow ears and a unicorn horn of course and a cow nose and cutie little cow eyes and a belly. So I thought you might like that. I thought that that could be something that helps you when you just need to cuddle up under the covers. 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 Cuddle up under the covers and just chill. And before you go, before you go on your way, whether that be to go cuddle up, 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 cuddle
So let's breathe a little bit. Let's breathe in. And hold it a little bit. Hold it. Hold it. Let's breathe in for one, two, three, four, five. Hold it. And breathe out for three, two, and one. Want to do it again? This time, this time we're going to make the exhale longer. So make sure you get lots and lots of air. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get it all out. Good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job, good job. You did great. And that little trick is always there. That little, 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 little trick is always there for you. No matter how busy things get, no matter how crowded a place may be, no matter if you're at work, if you're at home, if you're with children, you can always breathe. That little trick is always there. Water tends to also always be there, in most cases. And if you need a little extra help, a little extra help, I'm here too. I love you very much.